you call these plain clothes? Ain't that the way they say it goes? Ain't that the way? You gotta make a bet when place a show where you can't play. Even when you know you're gonna lose, it ain't tax exempt. Four-door full-size sedan, license plate New York, 32, Boston, David. Last two numbers missing. How could you tell they were Chinese if they wore ski masks? Couldn't you have told if they'd been black? Me again. Why can't they leave me alone? Look, I just came in to make change. Honest. This is the second time I've been robbed. Don't ask me to describe anything except the gun. Well, what kind of gun was it? Big. Mrs. Lee, you were the only one they had any conversation with. Why? Conversation? You were the only one they talked to. They saw me looking at them. They? What do you mean, they? He, he saw me. Now, what did he say? He told me to close my eyes. They had masks on. What was he afraid you might see? He wasn't afraid. I was afraid. Of course you were. I was afraid for my baby. Could I be excused? Of course you can. We don't have any more questions, do we, Chris? No. All she has to do is mention the baby and you turn into the Tower of Jello. Just what is it you think that this frightened pregnant girl can tell us about these completely masked bad guys? You're a snob. You think I can't understand how that girl feels just because I'm not a member of the great fraternity of motherhood? I think you mean sorority, don't you? Yeah. 
Yes, I do. <laughs> Hey, let me in on it, Jogi. Don't tell me I wouldn't understand. You'd understand, but you couldn't do it. Couldn't do what? Huh? I could do anything. It's hot in there. You know, you shouldn't do that. That's very bad for you. Going from hot to cold like that makes you more susceptible to catching a cold. Is that so? I'll tell you what we'll do. We'll finish up here. We'll go back to that 23 cents a pound orange place. We'll get you more of those. Load you up with vitamin C. Hey, Mr. Lewis. Can I help you, ladies? Detectives Cagney, Lacey. Hey, I already talked to the man. Good. Now you can talk to me. I didn't see a thing. But I saw you, Mr. Lewis. I was afraid we might shoot you. Don't make us sorry we didn't. Well, what do you want to say that for? Because you're not telling her the truth, Mr. Lewis. The car used in the bank robbery was parked almost in your lap. I want a description of the driver. If you're frightened, we can arrange protection for you. I didn't see nothing, and that's all there's to it. I'll try and make it, Thelma. Yeah. Yeah, but if I'm late, in this case, you can start without me. I promise. Around the Coleman Festival. Mm -hmm. Yes, ma'am. I, I will give Sergeant Peepy the message. Thank you. Lacey, 14th. Uh-huh. Oh, hi. Charlie, yeah. She's right here. Chris, it's your dad. Yeah, hi, Pop. What are you doing? Uh, oh, uh, gee, I'm kind of tired. Uh, yeah, okay. I'll be there in 10 minutes. Hey, are you aware of what you're doing? I'm aware. The thing is not time to open for another 10 minutes, and I need a cigarette now. If you can't quit cold turkey, you can at least use the timer box like you promised. Does that bother you? Come to O'Malley's, huh? Charlie asked me to join him for a drink. A drink? Don't you mean a drunk? Come on, he's lonely. Just wants to hoist a couple with his number one son. Tell it like it was when he was a cop. There's no harm in that. No, no harm in that, except when you get drunk with him, he gets to go and lay in bed the next morning. You get to come to work half dead. Think he's taking advantage? Chris, I, I love your dad. He's a, he's a real charmer. But what do you want to be his son for? What's the matter with being a daughter? Oh, daughters are supposed to whip up daddy some homemade stew while sons get to belly up to the bar with him. All right, OK, you got me. Go down there, drink them all under the table for all I care. But don't ask me to go. Gum. Gum! So the judge turns to crying Kelso and he says, Are you trying to show contempt for this court? No, says Kelso. I'm trying to hide it. <laughs> Hiya, Charlie. Hey, kid, how are you? Thought you said you were alone. I was, I was until five minutes ago. Hey, hey Frank, move over. Let my daughter sit down. Hey, Frank, you? nice to see you again. Thanks. Fellas, you know my daughter, Christina, or officer daughter, as I call her sometimes. Hey, Chris. Hey, Sally, what's everyone having? This round's up to me. Ah, uh -huh. oh, hold it. Your money's no good here, kid. Sally, give her a beer. You got a draft doctor. Oh. How you doing, Pop? I don't suppose it ever occurred to you they had to wait until I retired before they tried to knock off a bank in Chinatown? Sally, how many things like that went down when this was my beat? I can't remember any, Charlie. Of course you can't remember any. You want to know why you can't remember any? Because it never happened. You want to know why it never happened? Because Charles Fitzgerald Cagney would rouse them before they could spend a dime of the loot. I got to go. I'll be right back. You wait right here, little right Miss here. Detective. Oh, I almost forgot. Here. Some of that peanut brittle from your ranch you like so much. Peanut brittle. I haven't liked that stuff in years. 
What's this about bank robberies? You can't figure it out? No, I can't figure it out. Your dad's gonna help you crack that Chinese bank robbery. Charlie? He's retired. Chris, for someone like your old man who's always been right in the thick of the action, retirement is a very boring way of dying. He's close to 70. Tell him that. You know, when I retired from the department after my accident, I thought I would go absolutely crazy until I found out that O'Malley wanted to sell this bar. I guess I called my son once a day. I mean, at least, while he was in Columbia. <laughs> Just to hear him ask me for something. You know, when they forced me into retirement, you know what the first thing I did? Signed up for an answering service. Just so I could leave messages for myself. Talking about yourself, Sully. Not my father. Now I hope you know this means this is ample provocation for changing my will. <laughs> Pop, isn't this your night to play gin? Over to daughter. Tomorrow, I am going to teach you about real police work. You and I are going down to the Chinatown I know, and I'm going to help you solve that bank robbery. Eat your peanut butter. Come in, my dear. Champagne is cold, and my blood runs warm with anticipation. Oh, Hav, you look just like George Hamilton. Where are the kids? Across the hall, Mrs. Hamlish. And I'm appearing as America's most attractive, seductive male for one night only. May I pour? Yes. You may pour. And they also tell me what's going on. Paradise. You got it. What's going on? Well, the reason I can be Mr. Wonderful for tonight only is that tomorrow morning I uh, have an appointment to build a skyscraper. You're kidding. There are two things I don't kid about. My job and my hot blood. Oh, Harvey. That's wonderful. What, what about your inner ear imbalance? You bet I'm talking about undreamed of erotic pleasures. You're talking about my inner ear. You are absolutely right. First things first. I think I'll uh, slip into something a little more comfortable, like nothing. I love you. Now hurry. Problem. Would you take it out, please? Daddy, now to bring the toast. Oh, I love wise guys in the morning. Thank you. 
Give me my lunch. I'm going to be late. For no breakfast, I got fresh juices. Got no time. I didn't want my knees, Dad. I'm walking you to the door. Oh, pleasure. Give us a kiss, huh? I want to try your hat on. Oh, Dad, he gets back to work. Hey. Hey. Have a terrific day and be careful, huh? I only have to worry when I'm high on lust. Harv, I'm serious. You haven't worked up high in over a year. I'm not gonna. I gotta ground you. Will you relax? Okay. Okay. Mm. 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 Be happy. Work eh? hard, huh? I will. Get out of here. missing persons. Listen, the way things are going, I'm lucky to be here at all. You know, it's not easy being a housewife and a detective. It's not a snap being a daughter and a detective either. Oh, you got to tell me about that. However, hot news. Harvey Lacey is back into construction on the new Satellite Towers building starting today. Oh, Mary Beth, that's great. You must be walking on air. Oh, I hope not. He promised me it was a ground job. Look, what are you, what are you nodding at? I've been thinking about what you said. It ain't easy being a housewife and a detective. It's the same for a bachelor. What do we got? Ah, uh, the ski masks photograph like a million bucks. You can see little snowflakes and everything. That's it? So far, yeah. So what about the car? Car. There were five silver gray four-door sedans stolen over the last couple of days. All makes, the plates don't come close. Eyes are the one with the bullet holes. So what do you think, huh? How many stores in Chinatown do you suppose sell ski masks? That's very good, Mary Beth. Very good, we should check that out. So how was O'Malley's? You don't look so bad. I'm not. Pop over, thank you. Pop just wanted to talk. But you'll never guess about what. He's getting married again. Oh. He thinks you should get married. No. I give up. He very graciously offered to help us crack this case. <laughs> Are you serious? Is he serious? Hey, it's not that far off base. I mean, he did work Chinatown for years. It's only natural that he should want to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So how do you feel about it? I'm trying to put myself in his shoes. I know, ever since you were five years old. What's that have to do with how you feel about it? <laughs> Going. A little pleasure spin. In this traffic? Are you kidding? Sit tight. Thought you might want to give a little team cheer to the old man on his first day back. Yeah. I don't see him. You see him? Oh, geez, Chris, I'm afraid to look up. There he is. Where? Yellow hat. See him? <whistles> You've been hanging around me too long. <laughs> Feel better? Yeah. I owe you one. Hey. This is something I like. Control yourself. Mm. It's got to work. My hands 
Jason. Charlie, what are you doing? Get out of here. You want to blow my cover? I'm waiting for my snitch. Pop, you can't just do this all by yourself. Get lost, will you? Hey, you want a score? You go check out Benny Lewis's basement. Benny Lewis? Yeah, and that phony import store he uses a front. Now get out of here. Can't you see I'm undercover? Good, good morning, Mr. Keggy. Hey, hold him on. Hold on, Mr. Hayden. Hold on. Read it. Benny Lewis's basement, like Charlie said. One more trip to Lewis, he'll have us up for harassment. No alarms, no nothing. Open the door, Mr. Lewis. What are you talking about? Hit the button, please. Talk about the car. Silver, silver gray. Well, we know it was silver, sucker. Don't you want to give this turkey a pass for silver? It was a Dodge, a four door silver Dodge. You said that, man. What year? Full size. A four door sedan. Mr. Lewis, calm down. Calm down, concentrate on the driver. What do he look like? He's Asian. Asian. What, Chinese? Japanese, Korean, what? Chinese. How can you be sure? <laughs> hey, I've been running now. I've been selling in Chinatown for 12 years. I ought to know. Yeah, we know what you've been doing. He had a scar. Find him. He also tells me I gotta have some yogurt. You ought to try it sometime. Oh, listen, uh, this Lewis thing, uh, it was, uh, good police work. There's something you ought to know, Lieutenant. Hey, what's that? We worked a quid pro quo with Lewis. What she means is we made a deal with him. What kind of a deal? We told him if he got his memory back, we would go temporarily blind. I didn't hear it. Did he just say good police work to us? Must have heard him. <laughs> hey, Charlie, is that you under the house? Hey, hi, Lieutenant. Hi, Charlie. Hi. Hey, that tip that you just gave us on Lewis really worked out. We got a description of the driver. Oh, yeah. And I always tell you to listen to your old man. Any luck with your snitch? Nah, I never showed up, but I know where to find him. That's why I came down here. Come on, let's go. Hi, Mary Beth. I got a lot of paperwork. You got a partner? I'll catch you later. Go, go. If your snitch didn't show before, why should you expect him now? You don't pull that mistake on Charles F. Cagney twice. Hey, there he is. Pull over. Hey, Monk. I am talking to you. 
Maybe I ain't talking to you. Don't let these bum threads fool you, Moke. They job is a Cagney. <laughs> I'm still looking at a bum. Oh, yeah. Remember, you little weasel. Just because you haven't seen me around lately doesn't mean things have changed that much. I can still put you in traction. Now, I am looking for a four-door silver sedan that was in that bank hold up in Chinatown. I want to know where it is, Moke. I don't know what you're talking I about. I need that information, Moke. Uh, uh. It's parked on the corner of East 156th and Cortland. Come on, get out of here. Beat it. Kind of rough on him, weren't you, Charlie? Oh, oh, come on, listen, kid. I know today you tell them all about their underprivileged childhoods, but my way keeps them in line. Let's go. On up 8th Avenue. Attention, Manhattan South units. A four-door silver Dodge used in a Canton Bank robbery dated 416. Found parked in a garage in an alley between Christie and Bayard, Manhattan South units. Woo! What are you doing? Didn't you hear they located the getaway car? It's a mistake. You saying your snitch has better information? Moke doesn't lie to me. You had a chokehold on him, Charlie. Another minute he would have been ready for the paramedics. He would have said anything. You're implying that I don't know what I'm doing. You're way out of line. Look, Charlie, uh, you were terrific in undercovering the Ben Lewis gambling den. That's how we got the lead on the driver of the car. I'm glad you're smart enough to admit it. You said you wanted to help, and you have. Well, so now you're trying to get rid of me, huh? Think you can handle it yourself from here on in, huh? Pop, I just don't want you to get hurt. That's all. Listen, kid. Any day I can't handle myself as well as any... Yeah? Go ahead and say it, Charlie. As well as any broad girl. How about lady? Why don't you drop me over to O'Malley's? You want to go to O'Malley's? Take a cab. That's a very good idea. Now, why don't you pull over and let me out? Hey, taxi! show you something. Look at this. See? Six for eight. Ladies, you bet it's 750. That's better than Pete Rose. Way better. Not only that, one of you's got a home run. The bullet went through one of them and got embedded in the dashboard. What do you got? Human blood, lots of it. If you give me an hour, Lieutenant, I'll tell you more. And what else? It's no prints. It's been wiped clean. You can take it away. Well, you heard the man. You get this car over the garage and put a hold on it. Girls, let's get some air. We get very far from the bank because uh, the guy that one of you hit was a driver. Which one of us? <laughs> You'll find out soon enough. Well, I'll tell you what. You take your revolvers over to ballistics and internal affairs. And before long, we'll find out which one of you gets the blue ribbon. Great. Now keep busy, because somebody has got to have seen something besides Nicky Arnstein, the import man. Later. You drive, huh? Why? Because I just look better than you? Because I asked you, damn it. Let's go around again with the bank teller. Maybe someone you overlooked. If you want.
What do you think of Mei Ling's no show today? She hasn't missed a day in four years. She's pregnant, Chris. I remember when you walked a beat on Staten Island, six months gone. It'd be different now. But you don't have to come on like gangbusters, huh? Mrs. Lee, we understand you're not feeling very well. Shall we come back later? No, it's over. He's dead. Dead. My husband, he drove the getaway car in the bank robbery. She told us her husband just bought a ski mask and he doesn't ski. Yeah? Yeah. That's why she was staring at one of them, hoping that it wasn't him. She worked in the bank. She could have told them everything about it. How the hell could we prove that even if we wanted to? Look, she's 21. She's pregnant. Worst of all, she's a widow. I mean, can't you just see the jury? Well, since when did you become the district attorney? When we get those punks and they involve a lieutenant, then you can call in the macho squad and kick in her door. Until then, leave her alone. Please? You got a silver tongue. Yeah. Thank you, Mr. Lamb. Oh, uh. These came back from ballistics. What the report say? Well, it's filed now, so forget it. Which gun, Lieutenant? I'd like to know. What difference does it make who's responsible? One of us killed a man, Lieutenant. Made his wife a widow. It's not the same as uh, hitting a bullseye on the pistol range, and I'm not going to lie to you and say it's all in day's work. I'd like to know which gun. You got to know, too? She's my partner. But I promise you, Lieutenant, no one's going to fall apart like a couple of bridesmaids. Why'd I say that instead of choir boys? It was Lacey's gun. Thank you. Let's get on with it. Well, there's one consolation. Mary Beth? Mayling doesn't know that it was one of us. It wasn't one of us, Chris. It was me. Then you're gonna have to live with it. They were trying to kill us. Remember? Are you all right? Eddie, 
asked me to work up high this afternoon, 16 floors. Worked 90 before. Scared right away, but I figured to beat it, you know. Anyway, I got dizzy, nearly took a header. Oh, my God. Oh, whoa, nothing happened. I'm okay. I realized it was stupid and taking too big a chance, so... So? I quit. Or I was fired. I mean, who needs a hard hat who can't get his feet off the ground, huh? Harv, I'm sorry. Yeah, me too. It's not gonna be easy, you know, and I can never do it again. I really loved it, you know. I know, I know that. Yeah. Oh, all right, well, hey, it's gonna be okay, huh? Hey, I don't want you to worry. Hey, thank God I got the super thing going for me. That could be enough? Yeah, you and the kids, anything's enough. Baking bread? Yeah, I, uh, I just, I felt like it. Hey, Minnie, you remember who you're talking to her. You don't just feel like baking a loaf of bread. Last time you did, Michael had a fever of 105. They don't, didn't know what was don't. wrong with him. Time before that, your mother died. Oh, Jesus. Hey, whoa. Oh, hang on, huh? Just hang on. Oh, oh. Hang on. That feels good. That feels good. Oh. All he had was a cup of tea, Chris. Laced with what? I swear. That was all there was. And then he took off, mumbling, uh, retired at 65, dead at 70. Thanks, Ollie. in a dark alley, that's all. One of them hit me up the side of the head with his gun, a creep. What were you doing in a dark alley? Hey, since when do I have to explain my whereabouts to one of my children? Don't start. Well, don't you start. Charlie. Pop. Look. I know you've been going through a rough time. And I also know that it's... It's hard for you to accept me doing what I do. What are you talking about? Are you crazy? I'm as proud as I can be of you. I tell everybody that. Yeah? <gasps> well, why don't you ever tell me? I'm a policeman, Chris. A good policeman. But I... 
They always wanted to be a detective. It, it, it never happened. So if, I, if I've never told you how much I admire you for making it, I'm, I'm sorry. I love you too, Pop. Yeah, well, hey, uh, watch out my head, will you now? Come on, be careful. I'm sorry. Chris, just sit down. I gotta tell you something. Now, last night in the alley, one of those punks was wearing the same kind of a jacket that you found at Tommy Lee's apartment. And I heard one of them call the other, Chang. How'd you know about those jackets? What is it, a state secret, as Becky told me down at O'Malley's? Well, if it's dark in the alley, how can you make sure? Would you stop questioning me? I'm sorry. It's one of the reasons you're a good cop, but it's annoying as hell and a daughter. Now, if they decked me, they thought I was still out cold, but I heard them talking. They were bragging about a job they pulled off in Passaic, a big robbery. They were going to celebrate tonight at the Eye of the Dragon. You know where it is? All right. Now, all you have to do is go wrap it up. Now, get out of here. Chang, Eye of the Dragon. Passaic. Passaic. Now, you be careful. Gave me. Have you got any idea how many Changs are around in Chinatown? Not in rough figures, but how many of them are wearing black satin jackets with dragons on the back? So he thinks he saw a dragon. Well, your father, and I love him, has also been known to see pink elephants. If you don't believe his story, Lieutenant, check on the heist in Passaic. I don't want to embarrass him. Embarrass him. LaGuardia, call Passaic. Hey, everybody. I'm going to sit out for a pizza. You're not going to have time to open the box. You want to bet? What kind are you getting? Mary Beth, a little faith in my father, please. Pepperonis, peppers, onions, double cheese. Is that okay with everybody? Uh, I don't want new onions. Pepperoni? You know I'm a vegetarian. Well, what about mushrooms? Because I'm not ordering a salad. I'm ordering a pizza. Mushrooms are great on pizza, Lieutenant. What's wrong with onions? I got a heavy date tonight. So don't kiss her. <laughs> Thank you, Sergeant. We owe you one. Talk to Passaic. It's just like Charlie said. This is where the Eye of the Dragon is located, right here. It's an interesting neighborhood. So you know the kind of people that patronize this joint, don't you? B-girls and hoods? That's why the girls are getting dressed in those outfits. What's holding them up? The undercover team's still working with them downstairs. Yeah, women. Really. If you don't stop primping, we could get on with this. No comments. Come on, no one's trying to put you down, and you know that. We gotta do this fast and quiet. That's why you girls gotta be the diversion. And remember, we don't want any citizens getting hurt, right? Let's go. We don't get any pizza? Oh, yeah, I, I, uh, I want uh, pizza for everybody. Here, eat this on the way. Guardia, go on around to the rear of the club. Let me know the minute you're in position. When are we going in? Hey, look, this is not a Wild West show. You're not John Wayne. You don't do anything until I signal. Everybody got that? Check. Yeah. I was just asking. All right, go. Petrie, I want you to go in first. I'm trying to get near to them at the bar. What is this, prom night? Do I look sexy? Irresistible. Let's go on down. 
This thing about being proud. Oh, you're so tough. I just can't stay away from you. I thought you might like to talk to us about banks, withdrawals, Passaic, that kind of thing. Don't, don't move or I'll blow a hole in you. Don't let the way I look fool you, kid. Let's go. Let's go. Easy now. It's all over. Grab my purse, will you? Thelma. Thelma, I know I told you we were raiding a Chinese joint, but it wasn't the time for me to pick up a takeout order of Mushi Park. Pop, I heard you. You've got a tip that will blow the lid of corruption off the borough of Queens. Pop, all I want is your love and your respect if it's coming to me. I love you too, Pop. I should be out of here in 10 minutes, huh? Yeah, do we need anything at home? I'll bring it with me. Stay awake, huh? You still go for some Chinese? Oh, thank you, Lieutenant. I got a hot date. Lieutenant, you're on. Szechuan or Cantonese? Well, you know what they say about Chinese food? Let's try them both. <laughs> 